I was really close with my dad growing up. We both had a love for each other that is unexplainable because it was really me and him against the world. Two weeks before he died, I said, hi dad, I love you. And he gave me a hug and said he loved me. Then he left. That was the last time I saw him. I didn't think anybody could hurt him. I thought that he probably overdosed or something like that. I grew up knowing that my mom had passed away in a car accident when I was 16 months old. But now, I feel like an orphan. I used to be so fearless. I always felt safe knowing that my dad was around. That's something his murderers have taken away from me. I haven't gotten any information from the police. Nobody has said anything to me, and that hurts. Tonight, a sea of candles lit up the Liberty Bell downtown. The community standing in support and solidarity of the Bakersfield Three. When the news asked me to be interviewed for the candlelight vigil, I was kind of like, it's about time someone tries to get my story. I can speak for my dad, and he was the most loving man. He didn't deserve to get killed, and his story does deserve to get shared. Cameron, thank you for being here, and I'm, again, very sorry for your loss. I just can't even imagine. It's just terrible, and it's terrible the way that it happened. Um, because of, there are so many unsolved pieces to this, you're still very worried about further violence, right? Yeah. I, I can't even, like, sleep at night or, like, hang out with friends anymore. Mm -hmm. And... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Tell me what your biggest fear is at this point. Um, honestly, to get killed or to have somebody else die in my family, because I've dealt with it my whole life. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think happened? What, what's your sense of this whole thing? Well, I knew, growing up, me and my dad were always really close, and even though I didn't live with him while growing up, we stayed in contact and hung out all the time. But within like the last three years, we just have, it, we just grew farther and farther apart. And I knew that he was involved in drugs and that hurt me because that was my only parent. When he died and I, woke up and found out that he was dead, I thought it was an overdose. I didn't think that somebody could kill him because he was, everyone loved him. I mean, he could walk into a room and nobody, if nobody knew him, everyone would still smile because he would be smiling and he was just that, he had that contagious smile. Did you see anything, hear anything, overhear anything, pick up any clue leading up to this that suggest to you what may have happened and why? No, just because within, I mean, I knew that he was taking drugs. I knew that. I could see it and he wasn't the same person, but um, I, I didn't know that of anything like that ever happening. I didn't think that could happen.